richest people in the world, apart from morally, where they're entirely destitute, just like the producers of this show. But look at how many sports cars Chloe has. Rumor has it this deliciously defecating debutante screams daddy while doing the dirty deed rotisserie style. They live most of the year in Liberty City at this sumptuous mansion, but pay no taxes because they claim to practice their religion inside their home, taking it off the tax roll. That's being a real American entrepreneur. That thinking got them a 45-bedroom weekend home upstate. It has a candlelit chandelier in the bathroom and transparent plumbing, so you can eat 100 dollar bills, shit them out, and watch your car car creation as it departs on its journey. Their religion is money, and they are the Pope, the Chief Rabbi, and a serious Ayatollah, all rolled into one. Fabulous. Their shit doesn't stink. And little baby Jo has got her own bedroom in this palatial palace that's carved out of ivory with murals of erotic versions of fairy tales hand-painted by celebrity artist Simon and Nigel. That's how the rich live, with pictures of Little Red Riding Hood taking it in the can from the Big Bad Wolf. Let's take a break while we ponder how all the middle class is just like Red Riding Hood. When we come back, Algonquin's hottest playboy discusses how he spends his money on worthless shit. Welcome back to I'm Rich, the show about rich people that has the production values of a local cable access show. That's because we have to churn this shit out in mass. Luckily, people are stupid enough to watch it. Speaking of churning it out or bopping your baloney on the face of humanity, here's another vacuous rich person we're going to promote for reasons that are entirely beyond anyone's understanding. It's top Algonquin playboy, Tony McTony. TMT is like TNT. This fast-living, fast-fused, but vertically challenged bachelor and internet 2.0 millionaire has agreed to talk to us about what being rich is all about to him. Uh, since I became really rich, my life is incredible. I got a place with a glass floor, so I can take it up some skirts with a special camera, and a glass elevator that got a glass jacuzzi in it, and I ride up and down for hours. And you know what? I'm going to rub your nose in i go gone from nerd to hot. Quicker than you could say, $750 million in stock ops. Tony's place in Los Santos is legendary. Tony may only be five foot tall, but what he lacks in stature, he more than makes up for in sports cars. Why have one luxury Italian Inferno sports car when you can have two? And why have two when you can have 15? All exactly the same. Each one has monogrammed seats with the special Tony McTony logo. Since I became rich, I realized I needed a logo. So I got the best logo designer to make me one. It cost 15 million just to have it created. The silk thread was shit out by a traffic monk. It's a yellow M done in an arch on a red background. You've never seen anything like it, people. My towels, my condoms, my gold rim jobs, all of it with the Tony McTony logo. Bitches loving this. Tony also hires women to sit cross-legged and topless in leather pants in bird cages hung from the ceiling. And they meditate so people really realize just how rich he is. Now, I get laid all of the time. Which is great, because I was a virgin up to about six months ago. Tony spends his weekends power boasting up the Humboldt alongside Algon Quinn, while he gets his special platform shoes hand-built by Eskimos out of Moon Rock. He likes to get back at the kids who beat him up in school by buying the companies where they're employed and sacking them. Hey, I'm not bitter. I'm just a tiny guy with a lot of cash. Next up, we've got Alfonso Vasquez. This guy's rich, and he's got a seriously hot daughter that he's got to have trouble keeping his hands off of. And wow, is his wife a bitch. She took half his money, just like a slut will. But that half, he doesn't even need, because money rolls in so fast, he has no troubles to pick it up. Alfonso keeps his daughter January Natasha Vasquez dripping in diamonds. She says she's even got her labia beautifully baroque with an enormous seven-carat stone. She's a role model and knows it. Showing girls exactly where their vaginas can take them if they try hard enough. But being this wealthy totally has a downside, though. See, she's terrified of trees and afraid that elves will abduct her and have their way with her. And she's never even had to learn to read or chew. It's 
so awesome. In her world, nothing is impossible except humility and basic spelling, especially when a manservant chews your food and spits it into your mouth. Private jets, suites of $300,000 sports cars, waterfall waterbeds, plus they've got a plasma TV in the toilet bowl to watch your favorite shows while you're making yourself throw up an $800 meal. That's what being rich is all about. It doesn't get any better than this. If heaven exists, it won't be this good. Coming up next, boats, yachts, and quads. It's the decadence that you dream of, and it's only on I'm Rich. This is DMT. My name is Stephanie Pearson. I tried dating, but it mostly ended in me just getting desperate and blowing homeless guys. Then I met Nathan on LoveMeet.net. We totally hit it off. Then he slit my throat and killed himself. Now we'll be together forever. Thanks, LoveMeet. Meet the man, woman, or beast of your dreams. Meeting someone is as easy as logging on, paying for a lifetime subscription, and receiving emails from the worst dregs of society you always feared were out there. LoveMe.net. Welcome back to I'm Rich. In this section, we've got an in-depth investigation into corruption and scandal in the charity industry, alongside a report from the front line of poverty in our own country and how bent politicians are wasting the money you give them. <laughs> Only joking. Who cares about tales of woe when we've got tales of wow? We're going to talk about wealthy people like they are in any way interesting. And we'll point out how pathetic your life is because you don't have emerald encrusted toilet paper or a pet dragon that shits pizza. That's the more, eh? Speaking of shit. Liberty City has taken decadence to a whole new level recently, officially becoming the world's capital of stupid money, when five generations of inbreeding created a wasp icon so drunk with fame and wealth, he doesn't even know his own name. Lyle Cleethorpe the Fifth's ancestors made their fortune selling tobacco and slaves, both of which are good. But the Emancipation Proclamation didn't get his family down. They import all their labor from Mexico for pennies, making him mega, ultra, party time rich. He spends his time sleeping with models whose shoulder blades could cut paper, holding court at the fanciest clubs in town, such as the legendary celeb hangout, Maisonette Nye. And riding sports bikes while high on drugs. It's the American dream. He's talentless, pointless, and tedious. And we're talking about him because advertisers will pay for spots on this show. Let's think about that for a second. There. A quick reflection is good. Now, let's get on with our lives. Stay jealous, people. I know I will. It's the decadence that you dream of. And it's only on I'm Rich. I'm Rich is brought to you by Crapia, budget lifestyle solutions made from particle board, Rimmer's sunglasses, sight for sore eyes, Al Dentes, all the mamma mia you can eat, Trackify Wireless, keep tabs on the ones you love, Big Log Cereal, who doesn't love Big Logs in the morning? Wife Beater Gin, the way to relax when you want her to shut the fuck up and let you watch TV, Bean Machine Coffee, Chihuahua hot dogs. Try beating our meat. Promotional consideration and advertising breaks brought to you by Adios Air. Say your goodbyes. Lax to the max. Get flowing again. Alpha Male. The Postal Evolution. The Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, but delivered transdermally and discreetly. Fanny Crabs Bar and Grill. You'll love the taste of our Fanny Crabs. Support for the sponsor listing portion of the show brought to you by 24-7 Convenience Stores. Where else are you going to buy a six-pack condoms and cigarettes when you're high at 3 in the morning? Burger Shot, kill your hunger. It's bleeding tasty. No tea, because Italians are known for their watches. Rusty Brown's Ring Donut. Max Renda Cosmetics. And Wigwam Burger. No need for reservations. Closed captioning for the hearing impaired brought to you by Pirate Music Stores, who invite you to hear the future of music and... 
Tinkle Wireless. Tinkle everywhere. Tinkle in your ear. And Eugenics Incorporated. Call Eugenics Incorporated, where morality is none of our business.